He's staring right into my eyes. What? What? I can't move. Come with me. Oh. No. My body, my legs, they're moving on their own. I am gonna fall. Ugh, my charm. Yuka's bottle of scented beds fell over Satoshi's pocket out onto one of the floor beams. Hey, that's mine. Is that gonna make you feel better? Big brother, come on! I can move again, okay. He took off with it! Our lucky charm! He's gone? Sniffle. Big brother, are you alright? Yeah, sorry though, Yuka. Looks like your charm's been taken. When he smelled the charm, it sounded sort of like choking sounds. It didn't sound like sniffing. That's ex extra creepy. Considering he was bird, I bird alive. I don't care about that. Just don't die, big brother. Don't die. Oh, you're such a cute, caring little sister. I won't. I I'm sorry. Come on, let's blow that nose. Oh look, he's pissed now. He's pissed. Lost his sister's charms. Charm. Victim's memoirs. I'm so cold. It feels like the heat is just coasting out of my body, bit by bit. And then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. Ugh. I actually felt like that once. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer or shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I, hate that I don't feel anything when I see a human body anymore. It sickens me. Uh, sit backwards. School this about oh it's every shelf of every cabinet you must turn every page and uh, rifle through it if you wish to learn more about this school I'm not good at reading backwards. <laughs> okay. Must turn every gap. Every, every page. <laughs> every page. That's ah, more. Who become trapped within these walls? Many messages have been left behind by the others. <laughs> Dang it, this is hard to read. Free of the curse, my, may you use their words as a guide to help break. Uh, that's hard to read. My brain is not made for that. A door. The heavy cabinets collapse across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Can hear some sort of weird. Weird noise from the right. Dirty husk left behind by the soul, filthy, disgusting carbon dust. 
Repulsive bag of meat and tissue, yet one must scrub and clean it well. Present it at the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth watch over us always. This is the way up to the... Up to the toilet, isn't it? Third floor. Yeah, we have the infirmary and the science lab here. This is the infirmary. Door is locked. Because this is behind everything. So, what happened to the light? Why is it so dark around there? Like, all of a sudden. Oh. And why exactly here? Why nowhere else? I can hear something coming from here. Oh, I'm, I'm curious. I want to go up here. Hello. Skeletal remains of a female student are sprawled across the floor. Pinned to what's left of her school uniform is a student ID name tag. Don't say Naomi. Okay. Uh, Marianne University High School. Megumi Sug Sugi. Starve to death after desperate search for a friend. This one as well? There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Yes, it's sparkly. <laughs> Acquired unknown, unknown key. If I'm not mistaken, then this key should lead to... Because there was an unknown key when I was with Seiko and Naomi, and that led to this room here. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> Might lead, might lead to the science lab. Okay, let's check out what's up here. Oh, it's really dark again. Boarded up. Lavatories. Boys' rooms to the left, girls' room at the end of the hall. It's back to this, to this message. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, little sister. Uh, yeah, what's up? I have to go potty. Uh, well, the sign says these are the lavatories, so go ahead. It's the right location, at least. I'll wait for you here. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna check if it's safe first. You got. Sorry to ask, but which one is it? It's the one to the far end. PB. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that sort of question. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. What the. the, the I hate asking such personal questions, but this place is full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting worried. So why aren't you exp exploring the goddamn toilet before you let your little sister in there? Stupid. Oh, hi. There was a problem, wasn't there? There was someone in there. I couldn't go. Understandably, I, I wouldn't be able to go in a place like this. Unless I get piss scared. <laughs> that everywhere would be my lavatory. Mm. But uh that's another story. Uh Okay, so let's check it out. Oh <laughs> So that's why you couldn't go. Seriously. Come over, I'll I'll throw you over. <laughs> okay, that was mean. Well, let's go use the boys' lavatories. You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find another bathroom, okay? Can you hold it? Mm. Barely. <laughs> Be nice if the boys' rooms were an option, at least. Oh yeah, it's 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 boarded up. I didn't even think about that. But okay. The door is boarded up with tightly hammered nails. It won't open. Perhaps we could break in there. I don't know if there are other lavatories in the near. These are the only lavatories I know of. So we got a key. Ugh. So dark. This this area around here is highly supernatural. Science lab affixed to the wall like a mile. It can't be opened. Okay, so that's out of the question. Infirmary, the door is locked. 
Oh, use the unknown key, but this said infirmary key last time. What is going on? I'm so sorry, Seiko. Naomi? Uh, Naomi? Naomi? Naomi is here. Uh, Naomi? Record progress, yes. Naomi. Oh, the bed's a lot less dusty than I would have imagined. Imagine if Naomi is lying here at the same time as her. Although Naomi would lie to the bed all the way into the corner, if we know her right. Big brother, I'm tired. You are? Do you want to take a quick rest before you go then? You rest here with me too, big brother. <laughs> Uh, if you insist, sure. You've been through a lot, so let's just have a nap. It certainly can't hurt to lie down for a little bit. I'd be worried leaving you here by yourself anyway. I wouldn't do that. Can't imagine- I, I, I don't know why I sent you into the gross laboratories all by yourself either, that's freaky. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. You still look pissed though. <laughs> I wonder what time it is. Feels like it's probably time for dinner with mom. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I want to go home. I want to go home too, Yuka. Don't worry. We'll get home. We'll find a way for sure. I thought I heard a voice. Like I was in the distance. Once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki and the others, I'm sure we'll come up with something. Well, Yoshiki, I'm assuming, is dead because he was hit over the head with this huge mace thing. They're all probably looking into possible escape routes themselves right now. So we'd better keep up the search too or else we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. That's the spirit. Either way, it'll work out. I know it will. Okay. If you really believe that, what do you believe, Yuka? You have to stay optimistic, girl. Then I'll believe it too. That's the spirit, sis. Ah, oh, she fell asleep. Let her sleep. It'll all work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. It basically just I basically just told her we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words, thin as paper. Well, do like Seiko, just keep cheering them up. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going, to keep living. Yes, don't lose this hope. Uh is this a flashback? All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. Um. Oh, it's, it's Yoshiki! The one who was hit over the head! Oh, where am I? Why didn't I think of that at first? Oh, my head is pounding. How are you alive? You're one tough fella. Oh, I'm in some sort of box or something. Or tight room. It's you. Where the hell did you take me? I don't think they were the ones taking you. <laughs> Where's Shinosaki? <laughs> ah. Oh, they stopped laughing. Oh, 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 oh. Sliding me some sort of food? No, it's it's the god of Macy slipping, uh, slipping after him, probably. Oh, it is food, perhaps. Oh, I thought it was a plate. Make up your mind. My legs, I can't stand up. Ay, ay, ay. What was your point in bringing me here if you were supposed to execute him? Either way. Did I... I nodded off. Did I sort of... Did Satoshi sort of... Witness that? Did he have a vision? 
What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. Well, you can't leave her. Leave her here. Oh. Okay, she just realized where she is. This isn't home. It's not. No, not yet. No. Yuka. Don't cry. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. God, put, put faith in your big brother. When we get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? The green kind with the sweet and red bean flavor? Whatever you say, sis. I know how much you've been craving it. <laughs> okay, I'll be good. <laughs> yes, that's a girl. Food it gets her every time. Especially now that she's hungry. I'm worried about Naomi. I hope she's got someone to keep her company. Shinohara or anyone, really. No, Seiko's dead. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if no one's there to keep her grounded. Well, I noticed just a minute after leaving Seiko, she had a breakdown. That was even before she found her dead. Come on, Yuka, let's go. You can stand, right? Uh-huh, I'm okay now. If you get tired again, we can always come back. Okay. Although this place is probably gonna change. But... I did not like that. Not sure if that's a stone newspaper or what it is. There's a section of old newspapers, old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Yes. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted and killed. Follow up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in a room with them. A large pair of sewing scissors were found in his possession, which should be in this room. And these were confirmed to be the tool used in removing the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Yeah. Of these children, one was expunged when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blanked, but somehow... Blank. The head... The, yeah, that's the school name. P... Uh, n, the... Does anyone want to play Hangman? <laughs> the newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Big Brother. The, the children in this picture. Yeah, that's a girl in the red dress. Is it? And that boy wearing shirts. He's the ghost we encountered. Yeah, the one who was buried alive. Some Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law, purpose, spread of the curse, gathering. Children with no tongues. Girl with top of head missing. Girl in red dress. Child victim. Grudge. Gave shape to school building. Escape. Okay. <laughs> Record. Yep. And this is probably the same. There's a blood splatter notebook on the desk with the word diary written in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop, however, it's practically molded into the desk. It can't be moved or opened. Where's the note there? There was a note there last time. Monthly goal. Wash your hands with soap. Well, it doesn't say blood this time. That's good. Handle turns, but not a drop of water. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. <laughs> you too. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Naomi? Oh, Shinosaki. Come on, Yuka, let's go. Okay. Hey. What is it? It's 
The floor is stained with a sticky residue, as if something or more likely someone were dragged down the hall. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Yes. Also, how were you able to fall asleep if you had to pee that badly? <laughs> I sure as hell wouldn't. Acquire, acquire nail puller. Okay, perhaps we can get you to the toilet then. Oh, hello. You weren't... Were you there before? I don't think you were. There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic. But it's not actually wet, and there's no indication as to how it got there. Science lab. Okay, let's get to the toilet. Am I the one in the in the in the stall in the toilet screaming? Board it up. Use the nail puller. Well, judging by the sound that came when I checked the uh, the boarded up door, I thought nail puller immediately. You got, you got it's all yours. No need for you to hold it in any longer. Let me check the goddamn toilet, you idiots! I'm gonna check the toilet before. There are no stalls. So what now? Do you have to go really bad? You can use one of those uh, boys pee devices. <laughs> I don't know what they're called in English. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go, after all. Or you could use one of these. Or even this sinks, in worst case. Like, it's it's already so dirty and molded and everything, so why not? Victims, memoirs. Mitsuharu really isn't anywhere to be found. You see, I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way of getting in contact with him at least. Tell us! He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like he... Looks like even when we're in different spaces we can still communicate that way. It makes sense because I keep reading others' notes all the time. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the written word alone. That is true. I miss our fights, our impromptu wrestling matches. But it's not just a physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. Well, you can draw his face. <laughs> okay, that's bad. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk. Ask him how he's been and what he plans to do after school. Stuff like Naomi and Seiko who didn't appreciate what they had. Those simple everyday interactions are some of my most precious memories now. What I wouldn't give to have those days back. Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to make frostbitten fingers move without cracking off. It's got it got darker. Got a whole lot darker. Where did you go? You Yuka? Oh, never mind. She's uh, walking in me. <laughs> For some reason I thought she I'm being a dumb dumb. Because I, I thought she was waiting by the entrance. But okay, was there actually anything else from me here? Thick, thick crust of mold and mildew formed around the edge of the mirror. Nauseating smell emanating from the drain. Thick crust of mold. Oh, what's this? Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. This is the same note I found earlier. And as I said then, 
You have to find a balance, probably. Beware the messages of the dead, for there will be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Urinals, that's the name. Urinals are filled with an extremely unsettling amount of blood. That is unsettling. In addition to blood, this particular urinal features a sickening cocktail of vomit and feces. Well, none of which should be in a urinal. Okay. <laughs> that was weak. Weak floor, about to collapse again. Hey! A photograph? Sounds like a camera. Yeah, that was a blitz. Someone from another space using blitz. Oh, Morishige, you're okay. Mochida, you as well? I'm so relieved to see someone else from class. That's surprising. Yeah. Uh, well, hello. Well, he looks pissed too. Oh, ah, oh, poor Yuka. Poor Yuka. What is this? Is it, was this a person? Yeah, it's the one that two ghosts dragged out of the infirmary and slammed right into the wall. It's an awful sight, isn't it? Seems like polarized human remains to me. There's a bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female. How can you tell? How far, how close have you gotten to this mess? It's a <laughs> How close of a look have you taken? Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. Well, it sounds like you've been going quite close in investigating it. Uh, but yeah. At any rate, I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke here in a short while ago. And I haven't encountered a single other soul other than us. Same story as us then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. So, you haven't seen Mayu then? No. No, sorry. That poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere. Shivering and crying. I need to find her. I need to be with her. What's up with my sister? She's... It looks like she's looking back in this airy sort of way, like as if she's thinking of something. I'm certain Susumoto must be thinking the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No. If, if we're split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. So I'm going to take another look around the building by myself. Oh, you idiot. Alright, then how about we just night Classroom 1A as an official Rendevar Wendezwus point? I don't know how to pronounce that. If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there. And we'll do the same, sound good? That's a starting classroom, isn't it? Sounds like a plan. You goddamn idiots! Big brother, what is that? Is it throw up? Yeah, that's that's a whole lot of throw up. I think someone was sick, so d don't 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 look at it too much, okay? Don't look at it, okay? Come on, come on, let's get out of here. That boy, he was taken. I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Okay. Hey. Something happened to him, didn't it? Something happened to to this fella. Hello? I could go here before, I think. Could I? There used to be a wall here. The hallway got bigger. Oh. It's 
the body of a female student. Thunder. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Mishagiva, Mish, Mishashigawa Girls High School. Mika Naruse. Chihaya Nana. Please be okay. I'm sorry I'm such a coward. Here we go. Skull cracked open with blunt instruments. Exit to second wind. The door's locked. There's another wing we can go to. Huh. That's interesting. So where did this guy go? So I cannot go here? So stupid. We were we got into the same space and then it just wanders off again. Talk about throwing away blind luck like that. Okay, hello. Nobody. I need a key for this. Oh, I can use a nail puller, okay. The glass door is no in pieces on the floor all around you. Acquired tiny key. Regrettably, the nail puller broke on impact as well. Seems its usefulness has come to an end. But it helped me twice. And it's helped me with other characters as well. I wonder if it's the same nail puller. So a tiny key, what do we use you for? Ugh. I don't like it when my when when the vision is so foggy. I don't like it. Okay, so we'll be going back. Tiny key. Perhaps this works on the cabinet thing. Because I don't see where else I would use a tiny key. Okay, never mind. Perhaps it's for the end of the brand new hallway. I don't, I don't think they would use a tiny key for this. Oh, it seems to fit perfectly. Okay. I would imagine there would be a larger key. Second wing is now unlocked. Thank you. This is where someone else went out. It's freezing out here. A second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is this big. Sure, strain. Are you alright? Uh huh, I'll be fine. Maybe there's a faculty bathroom in the second wing. Hey, you've been holding it in for quite a while, haven't you? Seems like we could climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. That's what I thought when I saw the cutscene. But look at those woods, it's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. I guess now's not the time to be worrying about that anyway. First things first. Let's take care of Yuka's predicaments. Yes. Yes, let's go. Okay. Oh, imagining having to really go to the bathroom and being spooked at the same time. This place doesn't feel right at all. The air is really thick. The atmosphere is really dark. Oh, the music. My head hurts. It feels like it's going to spit open. It's like one of my previous partners as well. In that long classroom, they felt that the, their head was going to split. 
My ears are ringing. Okay, so there's a lot of supernatural activity. I don't think it's safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait outside, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. No, please take me with you. Don't leave me by myself. Yeah, actually, that's a really good idea. Just stick with me. Ah, oh, you're giving me a hug. Alright, no need to worry, okay? I'll stay right by your side. Okay. Two. Ah, uh, he... so... Uh-huh. Not sure how to read this. Oh, oh, yikes, yikes. Okay, there's an entry over here as well. Which way should I go, though? Hey! I'm scared. 